this video is about the rotational matrix and this rotational matrix does have a certain properties and this is one of the type of a square matrix and the property for this rotational matrix is that if you are doing the transpose of this rotational matrix this is equal to its inverse and also for the rotational matrix its determinant is going to be equal to 1 and let us know some more examples about this rotational ex rotational matrix and let's assume we have example that is equals to cos theta minus this sin theta sin theta and this value is cos theta so this is one of the example for this rotational matrix and now let us have some more examples and there is another matrix that is p equals to this cos theta 0 and this sin theta 0 1 0 minus sin theta 0 and right here we have this cos theta and where this theta is going to be equals to this 45 degree and this P is also a rotational matrix and every rotational matrix is the orthogonal matrix so this is also the orthogonal matrix and so here we rotational matrix is a orthogonal matrix so for the orthogonal matrix that is going to be its p inverse must be equals to this it is transpose and that also be as which can also be shown in this property of rotational matrix or this can also be written as p multiplying with this p transpose is going to be equals to this identity matrix so this is about this rotational matrix and how it is having its corresponding uh, properties like its determinant is going to be equals to 1 and this transpose is equals to its inverse and we have its corresponding example that is it can be represented in this sin theta or cos theta values and this is another example when it comes to 3 cos 3 matrix and where this theta is going to be equals to this 45 degree and this RV rotational matrix is going to be a orthogonal matrix so because of that the condition for the orthogonal matrix is same as that of the rotational matrix instead of having this expression we are going to have an expression like it's finding out its inverse or its determinant is equals to 1 that means its inverse is going to be adjoint of this r by r determinant since this determinant is equal to 1 so its inverse is equals to this adjoint of this rotational matrix